Hey guys, and welcome back to Super Mario 3D World. When we last left off, we were uh, making a huge impact through the castle world. In fact, there's not actually a lot left. Now, you can see that I've already done a little bit of this world. Uh, that's because my capture card keeps crashing. Or at least it has twice in a row now. Uh, halfway through recording this and unfortunately the footage becomes unsalvageable not sure why it's doing this uh, I never had this problem with a external uh, with an internal capture card rather but yeah this one I don't know man it's a few quirks anyway let's go shall we let's go to trick trap tower <laughs> let's see if we can actually get through it this time okay let's go now trick trap Tower is actually quite a cool, interesting uh, level because it essentially consists of two towers, one of which isn't too bad, the second is a little bit tricky. I think Bowser has set himself uh, some devious trap system that's ready to be sprung, but we'll get into that a little bit later on anyway. So there's our first star, and the actual stamp is just above it up here, which is kind of cool in a weird way, kind of interesting. They just throw them straight at you. Luckily, this isn't actually a very long level, so not too bad to rerun it so many times. In fact, it's not actually rerunning the uh, <laughs> the levels that's bothering me. It's the fact that this capture card has been unreliable. Anyway, that was almost close. The next star involves killing these magic hoopers. And that will spawn our precious star. Right, not bad, Peach. Not bad. Let's keep this party wagon going. Now, onto the second tower. This second tower has a devious trap waiting to be sprung inside. We're not going to fall for it. At least, hopefully, we're not going to fall for it. We definitely want to kill these guys. Because otherwise, they're going to make coming back through a little bit more of a pain than it should be. Because we're going to want to be coming back here at speed. So smash these blocks and we'll get our third star. Oh, God. Hello. Enough of that. No need to be like that, dick. You want to make sure you're grabbing all these tokens as well, because you can't really get them <laughs> once you've got this one at the top. Now, this area starts filling with nasty poisonous gas, which is bad. And the gas actually moves pretty bloody quickly. So we need to get a bit of a wiggle on here and get the F out. Or, you know, Peach, you could just decide to run up the wall for some reason. Okay, I mean, hey, you do you, Peach. Luckily, we've already got the star here, so I don't have to get it again. <laughs> I've already shown you where it is. That will do. God damn it, Peach. I think, are you just tired of being a royal? Is that what it is? Because, to be fair, that looked like you phoned it in, Peach. That kind of looked like, uh, you know, you were self-deleting because why else would you optionally turn back and run into the gas now I'm just just asking questions here yeah so you might think that gas only triggers when we grab the last um, grab all the tokens but it doesn't it triggers when we grab this one so we really need to get our skates on here run from the poisonous gas that's it, Peach. Run from the poisonous gas. Don't run into it and inhale. <sighs> Sliding down those walls a little bit too slowly, but that's fine. Anyway, this is kind of a cool effect here. See the way the gas kind of, like, flows out. But we cannot stand around because the lava is rising. Unfortunately, it doesn't rise all the way up here. But it does rise to the point where it covers up that warp box. Which is bad because then we can't exit the level. But it doesn't matter, because you die shortly after by having boiling lava creeping up your leg. 
Okay. So, with that one done, we can actually go down here and say hello to Toad. Hello, Toad. How's it going? Captain Toad gets thwomped. Yeah, this one's actually quite fun. It's uh, lots of thwomps and lots of conveyor belts. And yeah, this one kind of seems a bit weird, but it's not too bad. First star through here. Once you know the lay of the land, it's okay. We've also got bullet bills here. Uh, really don't want to run into those. You're going to have a bad time. Just need to sneak under all these thwomps and through here. Excellent. Jump on this dude's head. Toad. 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 That's, that's not how we do things, Toad. That is definitely not how we do things around here. Okay. Okay, we're all good. It's all gravy, baby. It's all gravy. Yeah, how are we doing? Not bad. Not bad. I don't know what Toad's got in his backpack. It looks like a pretty heavy sack on his back. I wonder what it's full of. Maybe we don't want to know what it's full of, actually. Probably all sorts of weird things in there. Goomba parts, maybe. Alright, let's wait for this to go and jump down. Oof. Not bad. And that will net us five glorious, glorious stars. Throw them on the pile, boys. Throw them on the pile. It's always nice to see a big fat stack of five stars be added in. Excellent. Nice. Not bad, Toad. Till next time. Till next time. So, where should we head off to next? Ah, uh, this one's kind of a ball lake. Shimmering lava lake. So let's get this one done. Shimmering Lava Lake. Ah, we don't need a cat suit for this one, thinking about it, but it'll probably make it easier. Lots of dry bones here. Oof. We don't really want to mess with dry bones if we can help it. Because he is an asshole. Fun fact, if we drop him in the lava, he will actually die. Which is useful to know. Uh oh, that's cool. Yep, we can roast these two dry bones. Who would have thought that lava would be just the ticket to destroy dry bones? Okay, we're good, we're good. We are good so far. Now, we need to be a little bit vigilant. And I need to jog my memory. Right, there's one of the stars. I have a feeling that's the first one. It is. Cool. We're all good. We're all good. All good so far. Let's run. Now, those lava balls, you actually don't want to run into their trail because their trail will burn you. They're actually quite annoying foes, to be honest. But that's okay. I think so far, we've... Ah, oh shit, we've gone in the pipe anyway. I think we're okay. Yeah, yeah, we're okay. Had to think where the um, stamp is for a minute then. But, I don't know where it is. Come on, dry bones. This way, dude. He's not having any of it, is he? Not having any of it. Oh, you killed yourself. Excellent. You gift-wrapped You gift-wrapped yourself for me. And I appreciate it. Would have been rude to refuse such a gift. Unfortunately, we can't really claim... Ah, no, we want the catsuit. We need the catsuit. We can't claim a soul, sadly. Because I'm pretty sure these dry bones no longer have their souls. Maybe they do. Maybe that's why they're up and walking around. I don't know, man. Like, the... Oh, no, that's okay, actually. That's fine. The Mushroom Kingdom is kind of a weird place when you think about it. A very weird place. Now we need to run like hell. And straight up and at him. Ah! That was savage. 
That was unnecessarily savage game. <gasps> we missed a star! Son of a bitch! I know we missed a bloody star! You son of a bitch. We'll get that star. Do we get it now? Hmm. I don't. I guess we'll get it now. I don't want to upset my capture card too much by pausing footage and whatnot. Um. Yeah. Go on. Let's go get that star. Not exactly sure how I survived that, but hey, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> Dull. Didn't quite survive that though, did we? Alright, that was pretty bad, but I think we just about recovered from it. Let's keep going. So, Ramahead Reef. This is quite a cool mission. I am a fan. Right, let's go deeper underwater. I I do like these underwater levels. They are fun. We do need a fire flower though. I'm trying to remember if we actually get a fire flower. I think we do. Actually, I don't think we I don't think we actually need one, thinking about it. I just think it kind of helps. Let's find out. Yeah, because our first star oof, is in one of these. But we can just go old school with it and butt stomp. Unfortunately, these bloopers don't like you messing with their stuff. Which is a little bit awkward. Now, I really don't want to use my cat suit because we need that cat suit <laughs> later on. Ah, oh, we do need a fire flower, thinking about it. Well, I can always get another cat suit. I'm not sure if we're going to get. Oh, yeah, we are going to get an opportunity to get a fire flower. Get one right there. And there's the second star. Yeah, ma'am. Alright, that's fine. We'll catch up with them this side. Yeah. We really need that. Fire flower. And in case you're curious, uh, you cannot... Oh, shit. No, that's fine. That's not fine, actually. That's actually really not fine. And we needed that bloody cat suit for the next level. <laughs> but hey, whatever. We can always go grab another one. Okay. Let's wait for all these guys to go through again. Um. Oof. Yeah, this one can be a little bit delicate, but I'm sure we've got this. I'm positive we've got this. I don't think these rammer heads have anything interesting on them. These ones down here, anyway. I think they've just got coins. We don't really need coins. Can we just... No, we can't. Ah, oh, that's bad. That's bad. Yeah, sadly, we can't just switch to normal shroom. We have to have a power-up. That's a bugger. Ah, wait. My power-up sensors are tingling here. Now, if we kill all these guppy dudes... Don't even think about it. Don't even fucking think about it, Cooper. Yeah, if we kill all these guppy dudes... We will... Get a load of coins dropped down here. So, we may as well take advantage of that. For reasons, they kind of just drop down in this random ass pattern. I'm not really sure what the story behind that is. Now, we've got these little bits of light here. I'm not sure if there's anything useful in any of these light spots. Oh! Can't believe we didn't get the flag. Ah! 
Okay, I mean, it's not as useful as a cat suit, but it will do. Yep, just stars. Uh, stars. Coins. That's fine. Well, at least we got a little bit of wiggle room if we get hit now. And, well, Peach. Peach does get hit. By just about everything. When you want to preserve those power-ups, never seems to go <laughs> the way you want. Let's grab up some more coins now. We'll avoid the rammer heads. Uh, we don't need those coins that much. Now, this is why you need firepower. Because you need to get in this tube. It is, is full of barnacles. We don't want barnacles up our ass. Ah, we're stuck. Stuck in the scenery. Which does happen. And again. Run. Okay. No. Whew. Okay. That definitely could have been worse. Could have been better as well. You know, let, let's not be too appreciative. Definitely could always be better. Now, unfortunately, we are running out of time. And that's not great. Okay, let's kill all of those guys. 60 seconds left. I'm not convinced they're actually seconds thinking about it. Hmm. Nah, I'm pretty sure. Ah, that's fine. You know what? We'll take a hit. We'll take a hit. We'll take a couple of hits. It's all gravy. It's all gravy, baby. Oh, uh, this is not quite gravy, though. That was... <laughs> it's all gravy, baby. Proceeds to get murdered by sharks. Ugh. That's fine. You can die. You can die. The most excruciatingly painful death that the Mushroom Kingdom can bestow on you. Oh, I'm going to have to go get a cat suit, aren't I? Yes, because we need it for one of the stars. Unfortunately, probably shouldn't have used that fire flower. But we don't need fire flower for the next castle, so it's all good. It's fine. I would like to tell you I have a plan, but well... There's no point lying, is there? Oof, almost. There we go. Alright, now, careful, Peach. And I guess, in all fairness... Oh, these bloopers are exceedingly difficult to hit as well with a fire flower. Alright. Let's grab up another fire flower, just because we may as well. And let's kill these guys. Just because it makes us feel better to kill them. Alright. Good stuff. Now we have everything we need. We just need to get... What is going on? What... Okay, that was kind of strange. Swim, Peach. Swim. There we go. Oof. Oof. Okay. That could have been significantly worse. Could have gone better too, but, you know. You gotta, you gotta take the licks, haven't you? Roll with the punches. There we go. Ugh, doesn't matter how many times you fall, Peach, as long as you get up. And keep moving forwards. Always moving forwards. Anyway, I'm going to go get us a cat suit. So I'll be right back with you guys in a minute. And we're back, guys. Let's go. 130 stars needed to crack this. Let's go. So the last castle in the game. I had to go get the missus sorted. It's being weighed down by two heavy cats, apparently. I know they're big and strong, but geez. Anyway, let's go confront Bowser. I like the way Peach says it's about time. Oh, Peach. 
Let's go fuck these guys up. In glorious fashion. Now, we will... Oof. Get a new power here. And we actually do need a cat suit. And we need the boomerang power. Both of them. Now, this star... Oof is a little ass to catch. Definitely a little bit more uh, com complicated than most of the stars we've encountered so far. Now, you can see there's a power switch there, but we don't want to get that just yet because we need the cat suit for this. That's where the star is. Really slightly hidden if you ask me. And you can see the stamp is up there as well. Alright, not bad. Not bad at all. Uh, we'll keep the cat suit for now, because the cat suit is now expendable. Oof. 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 That was sketch. That was way sketch. Oh, jeez. That's fine. Everything is fine. Everything is fine. Oh, man. Okay. Good things are about to happen. I hope. Right. Now. Run. Oh, we got hit. Now, this is why we need the uh, boomerang. <laughs> Just to get that last star there. Look, dude, you're not really doing yourself any favours. Right, we're good, we're good, we're good. Let's go. Ineffective. Oh, God, these hammer bros really suck. But you have to kill them. That's fine. We have a boomerang. Boomerang of doom. Peach's uh, heroic weapon would be, I guess. Alright. Now, let's go punch Bowser in the dick. Or at least make his balls explode. Look at this motherfucker rolling up here. Look at this. Blinged out. Where does he get all of his cash? That's what I want to know. Now, this boss is semi-irritating in the fact that it can take a really long time to actually get done just because you're waiting for him to throw his balls at you and you've got to kick him in the balls actually thinking about it can we ah oh, we can use the we can use this power that's actually ridiculous it means we can afford to hang back a little bit but we're on his time scale because we have to wait for him that was not great. <laughs> we have to actually wait for him to throw balls at us. And his speed is dependent on us as well. Okay, that didn't work. Yeah, maybe not rely on. Okay, I see what's happening here. So for some reason you can't throw your boomerang over the lava. Noted. That's something that I didn't know, actually. Okay. I have learned something new. Cool. We'll just go back to the old-fashioned way of punting his balls back at him. I don't know who's driving his sick ride. Ah, oh, son of a bitch. That's fine. But... He's probably got cruise control on, actually. It's not as if he's going for a complex journey, is it? Alright, stop having a hissy fit, Bowser. Stop blowing fire everywhere. Because it's really not very effective. Yeah, so his speed is... Um, like, if we get close to him, he'll zoom off into the distance. If we get far away from him, he'll actually slow down to the point where he's barely moving. Now eventually, oh, I was going to say, eventually we will run out of road. And we'll restart the course again. So, 
There's no worries of that. Kind of interesting, actually, that they made that a kind of thing. It's not an unlimited, infinite rolling road. All right, come on, Bowser, because I'm on a timer, mate. And uh, I'd rather kill you sooner rather than later if you catch me drift. Come on. The castle needs saving. All right, let's just get him off here. There we go. We'll just push him off the grill. <laughs> you really afraid of Peach after all these years? Bowser, old boy. To be fair, can't say I'm surprised. She has, in a roundabout kind of way, been his undoing for the last 30 or damn near 40 years. Pretty really sure it's nearly 40 years, isn't it? He's done. Get out of here. You washed up old has-been. He must love his lava baths. Does seem to get a few of them. Alright. So. Not bad. Not bad at all, Peach. Well, you're definitely more useful than um, the brother. <laughs> so. The last fairy. It's about to be saved. And all was right with the Mushroom Kingdom once more. But then we're not in the Mushroom Kingdom, are we? We're in the... Dixie? No, Sprixie Kingdom, I believe. Something like that. <gasps> what do you mean it's not over? Oof. Yep. He just puts them in a mega jar. Kind of jar that would make Link jealous. Hey, I like that. Mario. Well, we've destroyed this castle. But it looks like our friends are in another one. Not sure why we're running on the spot. I think that's just our character animation. So yeah, we have now unlocked a new world. Quite far away. Quite high up. <gasps> oh yeah. You didn't think Bowser was going to be down and out that easy, did you? So, this is Bowser World. And when we come back, guys, we're going to start our journey through Bowser World. And this is where the game, from what I can remember anyway, uh, it's been a while since I've played this world, this is where the game starts taking the kid gloves off and starts showing that, that Mario spike of difficulty. But we're going to we'll have to experience that in the next part. So thank you very much for watching, guys. And as always, till next time.